right here. We're going to do a video today on something that really interests me and I think it actually interests a lot of different Spiros. We're going to do a dissection of this. This is the 52 pound gag that I just got gotten last week. Uh, we're going to find out exactly where the kill spot is on this grouper. Now this is the one I actually stoned him. You can see where the hole is right here. Um, but we're actually going to cut off the entire top part of this guy's head, get into the uh, into the brain cavity, and that, and do a couple measurements as far as the top of the head from the eye. That way, you guys are better informed as far as where the actual kill spot is, because that would be very beneficial if you're diving, you know, 160 feet, and you have a 60, 80, 100 pound, you know, fish and you don't want this fish to drag you all over the bottom and, and hurt yourself, hurt the fish, and, and get into some trouble. So it's, it's best if you know exactly where the kill spot is and, and try to hit it every time. We're going to do a couple of different videos. I, I'd like to hear from you guys, see how you like this. Uh, on like uh, Amberjack, Big Amberjack, those are probably uh, the, uh, the biggest fish as far as dragging you to the bottom, stuff like that. Cobia different things like that so you know everybody says oh the kill spots here or there but if you actually have a visual say okay there's the eye that's the brain cavity you can kind of visualize it whenever you're down there hunting the fish and stuff like that so uh, let's uh, let's get cutting into this guy and get messy okay so this is the front head of the grouper as you can see this is the spot that I had that was a thing yeah right there so as you can see that's where the shaft had went and so we're looking at about four and a half actually about three and three quarters back from this part of the eye and I would say about three quarters of an inch up above it. So just up and back from the eye. But granted that this is going at an angle, so as I can feel the skull, that's what it it had cracked because um, the shaft didn't go all the way into it. So it, it had broken into a skull, which uh, totally um, paralyzed him. Matter of fact, take a let's take a quick look at the uh, the actual video real quick and then we'll come back to this. Okay, as you could see in the video, you, as soon as he had gotten hit, uh, totally paralyzed him, uh, you know, killed him immediately. So, uh, let's find out exactly how big the brain cavity is on this guy. Okay, after some work, <laughs> a lot of work actually, uh, I tried to cut into the brain cavity, but there's his skull, actually, I mean... The skull on these guys are so thick. You can see right there, that's just solid, solid bone. Uh, so I actually had to chisel into it. Um, you can see right here, right here is where the shaft had entered. So as you can see, that's where it had just barely pierced the skull part uh, on this guy to, uh, to penetrate the brain cavity. You can see right in here, this is uh, where the brain is. You can see all the soft tissue right in here. So you're looking at, you know, the the good rule of thumb. P 
people always say if you just make a triangle from the eyes that's that's pretty much it you know if you go the triangle right here so I would definitely say that that's accurate you get some measurements on it so you're looking at from the back of the eye you're looking at about three inches three inches two and a half to three inches would be the brain cavity right there and uh, I would say uh, I would say about two inches down two two and a half inches back two inches down uh, right in the center is actually where your brain cavity is going to be and you know it's it's a pretty big cavity as long as you if you get your uh, your uh, shaft to penetrate the brain cavity somewhere right right in here uh, then you're going to pretty much lights out for this guy so hope this got hope this was informative to you guys I know I've always uh, wished you know I've went on to um, Google and stuff and tried to do the anatomy of certain fish and you just can't find uh, like um, the anatomy of them like where their brain actually is and stuff like this this, this is more of a kind of hands-on you know to uh, see exactly uh, where the kill shot is so you know right about here so normally about I would say three inches back from the eye right at an angle it'd be lights out every time and I also did uh, you can see in case you spine them you can see uh, their spine almost runs parallel back from their eye maybe a little bit higher I would say maybe the center of it uh, the center line of uh, their spine would run probably right at the very top of their eye socket so oh this was informative you guys let me know uh, if you'd like to see some of the other fish uh, we're gonna go out and get some amberjack this coming weekend so uh, uh, look forward to doing some more of them all right this is Corey Moon with Bonafide Spear Guns I'll talk to you guys later hey guys and just as a added bonus uh, my trip this past weekend I was able to get a really nice permit that I was actually able to get a kill shot on so check out this footage I uh, hope it helps and I uh, look forward to doing the next one